For this video, I'm going to show you how to identify the skull of Rattus. So we have Rattus norvegicus and Rattus rattus. I'm going to tell you how to distinguish the two. You just need to be able to identify a rat skull as Rattus on your exam. So what do we look at? So let's look at the overall shape of the skull first. I'm gonna disarticulate the mandible there. So we're looking at the cranium. So you can see how elongate this is, um, much more so than was found in the chipmunk or the gray squirrel. And the zygomatic arches are parallel. They don't bow out like we saw um, in the chipmunk and gray squirrel as well. Um, another uh, trait that you can look at, if we look at the zygomatic arch here, it's relatively thin, um, but you can follow it up. And at the anterior, there's a notch, the zygomatic arch, a notch, and that zygomatic notch is distinctive. It also converges with the um, foramen that sits in front of the um, eye sockets. That's the infraorbital foramen. And that foramen actually forms a slit that's quite distinctive. So see that, let me turn it a bit for you there. See that slit? Okay, so we have the zygomatic notch and the infraorbital foraminal slit. Okay, uh, another thing you can take a look at is the um, number of teeth. Uh, they have uh, just 16 teeth total. There is four per quadrant. And we have one incisor and one, two, three um, cheek teeth. These are all molars. Okay. So I think that should help you to identify a rat skull. Uh, and just FYI, if you were to distinguish a radis, radis versus radis norvegicus, you could follow these lines here. They come straight down in norvegicus, as you've seen here. But these temporal ridges are more bowed out in radis radis.